Six next to Jared Bowmeister. Two names we are familiar with in our area. Carter Vandenberg in the 7V and 77F of Jeff Frana in row seven. Big pace trucks making their way into the infield. Looks like we're gonna take a green this time by Brayton Carter, or sorry, Brayton Carter and Jason Hall. We'll bring him to the green. Brayden Carter on the gas, takes a lead right off the bat down the front stretch. It's a bad dash as we got a three and maybe even four wide. Moundry in the middle of a situation down the low side. Gonna make up a position, but early race leader is Brayden Carter. The 53 of Logan Anderson on the inside comes into the second spot behind behind him is the 95J of Jason Hall in third. Two by two by two by two by two, and they are all side by side coming in for a battle. Everyone's looking to try and get their positions up early, because we only got 16 laps to do it. Braden Carter is starting to check out from the field as the caution is out. Caution is out. Not sure where the caution is. Going to be coming to the green flag next time by. Braden Carter is your leader. Got Anderson and Hall chasing him down. Now that they're right there, will they have anything for him by the time the green by the time they reach turn one? Green flag is out. We're back racing in your sport mods. Three wide battle down the front stretch of Hornets testing in turn number one. Logan Anderson tried to look to the inside, but now Jason Hall's going to be the inside of Anderson for the second spot. We got a three-car battle mid-pack on back as we got to throw a blanket over the cars out back behind your leaders as they are battling side by side. Looks like they might have a three-wide situation coming down the first now, just two by two, but still a pack of cars. Where did the seven of Webster come from? He got shot out of the cannon. Now he's in the fifth, fifth position. As back behind them, there's still like a four car battle for one position as the one V is the leader of that. So, great. position to the Webster as they come down the front stretch. He's going to try and make a mount back and come back at him. Brady Carter is still your race leader. He's got a healthy lead as Webster's looking on Vanwick, trying to make it for the third position. The 1V. I believe that is the 1V. That is the one B. He is on a tear trying to fight him in my list. I can remember his name. I can't remember it. But the one B is absolutely on a rail coming through the field as he has now made his way up into, I believe, that is the sixth position. And he started, I think he started way back in there. He has to start inside row five. He got shuffled back. Now he's up into fifth. Four pack of cars coming through the turn one and two now. Oh! We got debris flopping up to the fence. They may call that good. It's up at the fence. Came off of Bowmeasters, I do believe. And I think I found the car with the broken spring. He's at the back of the pack. Uh, we got a pack of cars coming out of turn four in the, in the front stretch now. Two by three by shuffling around. Oh, we got a four car battle for one position. Tops the tire into the fence. Can he keep it going? Can he keep it going? We're going to keep it going green. We stay clean and green for the time being. Halfway home for Braden Carter. Braden Carter is halfway home as he is approaching lap traffic now. Caution is out. Caution, caution, caution. The 
The yellow flag is out. There may have been a spin off in the turns three and four area. Turn two, roughly around there, I'm being told by my camera guy. He's off over there. Oh, okay, okay, I'm being told. Black 29 has the hood up. Blaine Webster on the inside of Jason Hall in fourth and fifth. But coming out of turn number four, they're gonna come to the green flag once again. Brayton Carter leads him to the green. Drag race down the front stretch. Who's gonna have the advantage coming into turn number one? Brayton Carter with the early advantage. We got a spinner in front of the field. Dylan Benwick spins in front of the field and everybody spins, goes off and to avoid him. Great driving by everyone to avoid contact with Van Wick as he spun in front of the field. Where did the 1V of Curtis Vanderwall come from? He is now in your row three inside, inside of Jason Hall. We're looking at the green flag coming up. When's it gonna happen? Braden Carter brings him out of four to the green flag. We are underway once again in your sport mods. Drag race down the front stretch for your second spot. On the high side is Logan Anderson as he's gonna cross over, try to make a run at it. It's not gonna happen. Okay, Braden Carter is your race leader coming into turn number three. And here comes Curtis Vanderwall with a slider in front of Hall. Is he? But he's still gonna be slide, sliding up side by side for your fourth position. Curtis Vanderwall battling with Hall. Logan Anderson's gonna try to look to the inside of Braden Carter. Braden bobbled it a little bit in number two. And we got a car turned around to turn number two. Car around to turn two. I don't know if he's gonna be up. And I do believe the caution's coming out. Caution should be coming out. Caution should be coming out, I hope. Well, they haven't thrown the caution yet, but I think he must be on the inside far enough to be out of the way. Oh, trouble on the backstretch, trouble on the backstretch. Oh. Pile up on the backstretch, and there goes the spinner that was in turn number two, driving away. Curtis Vanderwall, coming from deep in the field, is now up into the second and third position. Blaine Webster and Jason Hall on the outside of him, gonna come to the green flag this time by Engines Rev. Up, green is in the air, we are back underway at the Caleb Hammond Memorial. Three cars battling for the lead in turn number one, but Logan Anderson's gonna shoot the gap, is he gonna have it? No, he does not push to the inside. Brayton Carter holds the lead ahead of Logan Anderson. Curtis Vanderwall hiding in behind them, trying to look for a good line as Caden Carter looks like he's gonna, he has made it up to the fifth spot now. He's looking at Jason Hall for fourth. Inside of Jason Hall for the fourth position. He's gonna be side by side down the backstretch. Battle is on for the fourth position between Caden Carter and Jason Hall. He has it. Blaine Webster now gonna try and look at the inside of Hall. Logan Anderson on the back bumper. They're hooked together. They come unhooked, but now Logan Anderson's gonna try and find a way around Braden Carter as Caden Carter is now making his way into the inside of Curtis Vanderwall. He's gonna make a run for third. Battle for the lead is shaping up and so is your battle for third. Front to back, Logan Anderson chasing down Braden Carter. Going high, he's gonna try and cut it low down the back stretch. Doesn't make the run. He can make a run going through three and four, so that's where he's gonna have to make his move, it seems. The battle is on. He goes up high. He's gonna try and cut it low. Curtis Vanderwall looks for looks for an idea. Two laps to go. Braden Carter still your leader. Followed by Logan Anderson and Curtis Vanderwall. And the 30 advocated Carter in fifth. I mean, Jason Hall so far. Anderson sets it up and he's gonna follow him around the track. White flag is out for Braden Carter. Logan Anderson gonna try to make a run at him. The gap is closing between 
Tuesday night set of racing action to honor young Caleb. Great battle front and back for position. Logan Anderson put up a heck of a fight, but to no avail as the 0-1 of Braden Carter will be the one in victory night at the Southern Iowa Speedway. Congratulations, Brady. Thank you. Brady, go! 